video. Today we're going to be making granola bars. Here are our ingredients. And we're going to have 16 granola bars. They're really good for going on walks, snacks, and other stuff like that. And since we're baking today, I put on my apron. And let's get started. <laughs> Pour in our oats, and it will take about 30 seconds to make them be finely chopped. I put a hand over here and make sure to only use it if an adult's around. I'll switch this on. This is what it looks like when it's the oats are all chopped up. I'll unlock the lid. Set it to the side, pull, this, pull out the blade carefully, set it to the side, and then just unlock this, this, oh, the bowl, the bowl, and pour it into the bowl. Then put it back on. See, we have our pecans right here. Pour Put the blade back on and make sure to lock the bowl in place. Set that to the side. Take the lid and put it on. This time I'm going to pulse it five to eight times. I'll take this bowl, set it to the side with our oats and our pecans. So I'll take this bowl right here. They look roughly the same because there's no this bowl. Take three egg whites. I only did two of them. Put them that, that. Because if you don't know how to do it, I want more eggs. Okay. Putting it to the other bowl. I have our five ingredients. I'll put in a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, one half cup brown sugar, packed brown sugar. One third cup of these of this coconut oil. You could use vegetable oil. Well, it on, in the recipe it says to use vegetable oil. If you don't, you can use coconut oil, like other oils like that. And then and then oh, and then we have a four. Teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And I'll use a fork and whisk it up. Now this is all gonna go in here. Mix off the side. And I'll take one half. One and one half cup rolled oats, not ground up at all. Pour them in. Set them off to the side. Take in our one and a half cup coconut flakes. 
Put them in there. And then we have our one half cup dates. You can use like the rest. Of, we ha I have dates because I don't have dried cherries. And I'll just put these in. You can use anything. Like you can use uh, stuff like that. And there is no substitute for our rolled oats that are ground. Or not ground. And then we have one fourth cup sunflower seeds and there's this other nut called papita seeds. And stir it around. It all kind of started to come together, and it's all kind of together. And now we're gonna make it all come together completely. I coated our spatula in oil. Let's get it all the way in. Here's one of the good times to grab a spat. Here's the first good time to grab a spat. Spatula. Put it in. Now, I use some. I took tin foil and I put it on this way and then that way. Get it in there. Put it. It's at three. It was. It's already at three hundred degrees. And now we'll wait for 90 minutes. And Attention, we interrupt this episode to bring you an important message from the host. Make sure to snuggle your cats. Okay, now get these out. And now, see they're a nice deep golden brown. That's how we want them. our granola bar. I will take out the tin foil, put, set it down over here, and, it, and we're just going to start to kind of take it away. definitely try making these at your house. If you want to have these a little less crunchy, you can try baking it for 60 minutes instead of 90. I don't care. And you can also put in chocolate chips instead of dried cherries or raisins. Like raisin dates. You can put in other stuff. Whatever you want. I bet you could even put in more oats. 